Us now is uh, Haisam Hassanen from uh, the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. Um, let me ask you uh, regarding this uh, UN discussion today, why is Egypt pushing the resolution at the UN? Thanks for having me, Jacob. Uh, Egypt is concerned with the situation of uh, Palestinian civilians in Gaza, uh, and this is why it's demanding uh, a humanitarian ceasefire. Egypt sees as the war uh, continues in the southern uh, part of the Strip, clashes between Israel and Hamas uh, are likely to get more tense, and Egypt worries uh, if this will come at the expense of more uh, civilians who will try to flee to avoid the, the war zone. And it's Egypt's worst uh, nightmare if they stand by uh, its borders. Uh, since day one of the conflict, this has been a huge concern uh, for Egypt. Egypt is trying to uh, prevent a spillover uh, to its territory. Uh, and this is for, for two reasons. It argues that once they get into, once Palestinian displaced Palestinians get into Sinai, they want going back and it cites it as a second Magba. Uh, two, it worries about operatives from Hamas and other radical groups would infiltrate its territory uh, by posing as uh, civilian refugees. And then in the future, they could use the Egyptian territory to attack Israel. And if Israel is on back, this would be embarrassing to uh, Cairo in front of its power. Is there any influence on the fact that we're in, in uh, the middle of elections in, in Egypt? Maybe things will be a little different or more or bolder after uh, General Sisi is re-elected? Uh, the situation will continue uh, to be the same. Actually, uh, part of uh, President Sisi campaign was to, uh, to uh, utilize his military background uh, co compare, compared to other uh, ca uh, presidential candidates. And this is why the Egyptian public was mobilized around him, because he's the only one who comes from military background. And in such regional times, uh, the Egyptian public likes to have uh, a leader who comes from uh, the military establishment, makes them feel secure. And President Sisi played on that. He was meeting with his uh, military advisors on a regular basis. This was advised. He visited military sites. Uh, he uh, went to military exercises. Uh, and all of this to show the public that he is the right man for the moment. What is exactly Egypt's goal with Gaza? What would Egypt like to see there, in your opinion? A uh, few things. Uh, one, establish a unified Palestinian leadership in Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, and the envision this shall be done under a Palestinian Authority umbrella. Uh, Cairo sees the leftover from Hamas shall, shall join uh, this, this group. Uh, two, uh, they would like to have lots of external financial support to reconstruct the damaged uh, strip. Uh, three, resumption of peace process talks to reach a two-state solution. And finally, work toward a demilitarized Palestinian state with, as President Sisi said, with guarantees from NATO, Arab forces, the United States, or any other uh, international forces. But Egypt worries a lot about uh, leaving a vacuum in the Gaza Strip to counter insurgency uh, groups, which we start to see a little bit now uh, when aides are entering the strip and you see uh, militants with their, with their guns and rifles are stealing that from, civi from, from civilians in Gaza. So, yeah. Right. So, uh, and, and Hamas will still be considered in Egypt as a terrorist organization? Uh, yes, uh, the regime uh, sees it that way, but obviously now publicly in the country, it is not depicted that way anymore because Egypt is worried about police Palestinians come in, into its territory, so it's doing a public mobilization campaign uh, against Israel. And for the sake of this campaign uh, to succeed, uh, they are playing it down that Hamas is a terrorist organization. All right. Hi, Sam Hassanan. Thank you very much. Thank you.